right, all right, all right. Let's start at the jazz room, and then we'll go from there. That is ridiculous, okay. The sales at my new building in Hell's Kitchen have been stagnant for a while. So now that I'm here, I'm going to breathe new life into this project. Just make sure everything is good here, make sure the drinks are all set up. I'm gonna go change now. I have restaged four of my 16 units to represent a different piece of this neighborhood. Hell's Kitchen is the cultural hub of New York City. It's where you go to find the best food, the best dance, the best theater, the best jazz. I think I broke it. Let's go check out the next one. Awesome. Oh, nice. This isn't just a decor gimmick. A lot of people who live in Hell's Kitchen are artists, and they're going to see themselves in these units. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Follow me, everybody. Since I staged the units to individually represent the different characteristics in the neighborhood, I too, as a broker, need to symbolize those characteristics. I need to embody them. Hello. Hi. Wow. Welcome to the ballerina's apartment. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is my costume. Everyone always asks, like, Great Jones, and what's the street name about and everything. I thought I would go dressed as, as Sam Jones. Hmm. So this open house for me, like a lot of my events this year, are all about having fun. The market's shit. Like, let's dress up, let's have pizza, let's have chicken wings, and let's have a good time. The things I do, the selling apartments, and maybe putting a smile on people's faces is gonna make brokers more positive in the space. That's how you sell in bad markets. Hold up. Hey, there's no wig with the costume. Um, well, I mean, you have gray hair, so you'll make it work, right? Goodbye. Bye. All right, come on in. Welcome to 41 Great Jones. Yay. Hi. Hi, I'm Sam Jones. Hi, Sam Jones, reincarnated from the 18th century. I was dead now, now I'm alive. Yeah. We have some food, some drinks. Congratulations, Sam Jones. Thank you. I'm a pretty powerful lawyer here in New York City, and this is my street. I thought you were in the for some reason. Right? No. I don't know where you would get that. I mean, listen, unfortunately, as great as Sam Jones was, he wasn't great enough to be costume worthy at costume stores in New York City. So what do you want from me? Welcome to my building. This is 41 Great Jones. It's only three apartments. It's three mansions, basically. Expertly curated, designed by Morris Ajmi. It's not like a regular new development. The exposed break is super, super beautiful. I've never seen the wooden ceiling. Yes. Oh, it's really cool because it draws your eye up to the ceiling, right? Yeah. Beautiful. How high are the ceilings? 20 feet. It's got the no-ho vibe, which is exactly what Sam Jones wanted. <laughs> this unit is 42, 50 square feet. The penthouse is 45, 50 square feet. The masonette is even bigger. This one starts at 15 million. The penthouse is 16 and a half million. What's the situation with the noise from the, uh, from the fire station? I listen, for me, yes, you have a firehouse across the street, but it is really pretty. And it's safety first. Fire happens. That fire department is literally across the street. They will save your life. <laughs> Let me give you a tour of what I think makes Manhattan View, which is this huge building. Look how big this building is. It's not just the 44,000 square feet of amenities. It's not just the outdoor movie theater. It's not just the doggy day spa. It's not just the indoor heated lap pool. Whoop. <laughs> it's the location. And I know a lot of New York brokers and a lot of New Yorkers think that Times Square is not a place that you want to live, but the energy in Times Square is so amazing and so exciting. It is literally the heart of the world. How many of you love living in New York City? Yeah. 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 Traffic light, traffic light, traffic light. Oh. <laughs> is there a part of me that thinks this is a bad idea? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. You know what else is really great about Times Square? You can walk into Times Square and meet a new person every single day for the rest of your life. You can go to Restaurant Row and try a new restaurant every day for the rest of your life. So 42nd Street isn't a place that you should run away from. It's a place that you should call home. Yeah. I just made that up. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. All right, you come back out. You're good. You lit. If we make it back in one piece, oh, no. oh. <laughs> which is right now, hopefully, what's going to happen, I have no doubt that everyone is just going to fall in love with the building. So now I want to take you back to the golden age of New York. We're going to the 1920s, back to the times of the Great Gatsby, when people were spending money partying. 
having illicit affairs, all that fun stuff. <laughs> all right, everyone scream Manhattan View! Manhattan View! When I met with Eldad the first time, he called me a magician. That's your magic. You're the magic man. And so I decided to run with it. Is this my magician's outfit? It is. I even went to a magic store so I could try to learn some tricks. Wow. Abra head. Jabra. Did it work? No, we're still here. OK. I realized that I'm a much better real estate agent than I am a magician. So I hired a real magician to be the entertainment for tonight. But I'm going to dress like a magician. OK? This is a vampire's cape. It's a magician's cape. OK. That's ginormous. It's great. <laughs> that doesn't fit me. Stay so. See, I, I told you. have a huge head. Hello. You look amazing. I do? Yeah. I love the white glove. Oh, voila. <laughs> oh, oh, drop my watch. It's slippery with gloves. OK, let's let up the troops. Open circuit. Wow, that kills it. OK. Open circuit. Oh, it works. Wait, come in. Welcome to So High. Welcome to Manhattan's newest neighborhood. Welcome to So High. When you create a neighborhood, it's just like commercials and advertising. You gotta hit them with it over and over and over and over and over. Welcome to So High. Welcome to So High. Welcome to So High. So eventually, they start saying it themselves. So High. So High. Yes, it's out the Hudson Yards. I may be bad at magic, but I am good at real estate magic. Did you see the decals on the street? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those cost me $6,000. <laughs> Come on in, come this way, get a drink, get some food. Too many people. Great turnout. Yeah, I know. This is one of the biggest open houses I have ever seen. So we'll rip the corner off. OK, here, watch. Watch the corner. We'll place this down here. Watch the corner. Disappear. You've been holding on to that the entire time. If Wait, we take that, my phone here, is that inside in the, bill? the bill. What in your the f What is inside the bill? <laughs> In this market, the fact that over 600 people are showing up, this building is going to be a hit. This neighborhood is going to stick. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Olivia feels that I cheated on the bet we made. This is Ryan's to-do list for the day. What? And if Olivia feels that way, because I am the coolest boss ever, I am willing to subject myself to the humiliation of a bunny suit. Good luck, and I will see you soon. Cut my chicken. Perfect. Hi. Hi. Do you have a chicken salad with cut up chicken? Do you think someone's really gonna like give me coffee if I walk in wearing this hat? Just tip really well. I don't even have pockets. Where am I supposed to keep my money? Like in my in my rabbit pouch? Here's your salad. It's gonna be twelve dollars altogether. I like your outfit. Thanks. So coffee. Need some tampons. That'll be great. It's hard out here for a bunny. Okay, I'm back. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Two sugars, no milk. It's exactly what you asked for. Thank this you is your sure. salad with cut up chicken. Everything else on the list in here? I picked up your, your tampons and that's what's in the other bag. Good. Can I take the hat off for like one second? Yeah. Oh God, I'm not I'm a real person. <sighs> How did it feel to be me for a day? Is this what you feel like? You feel trapped in a bunny suit? I used to. What? That's so weird. Can I be done now, please? You did well. This has been humiliating enough okay. for you. Now having hopped a mile in Olivia's shoes, I perhaps have a bit of a new perspective. Hey guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.